this morning, a crash into a PG&E power pole it leaves hundreds of people in the dark. CBS 13's Lori Wallace has been live at that scene on Maple Street with more this morning. And Lori, I know you mentioned it wasn't just one pole involved. That's why it'll take so much time to fix this mess. That's right, Dina. There were five poles total involved, and we'll get to what exactly happened out here. But we talked about those 300 people that are waking up without power this morning. That number was originally at 2,000 as of last night. So some progress has been made, but PG&E isn't expecting to have all of this cleaned up until about 5 o'clock, and that's when they expect the power to be fully restored. So here's what I can tell you. One pole is going to need to be completely replaced. There are four others that do have significant damage. Also, hazmat crews have been out here. A trans Former fell to the ground. Another one is dangling from one of the poles. That car crashed into the pole out here around 11 o'clock last night, and then five poles in total were damaged as a result of that accident. It will be a while, as mentioned, before things return to normal out here in West Sacramento. Uh, this morning at last check, again, 300 people still without power. And this is Maple Street here where we're standing. It's been blocked off throughout the morning as crews continue to do their work. I'll send it back to you. All right, Lori Wallace, again, power not expected to be restored until later this afternoon. Thank you for that update.